What's up guys? Welcome back to Living with Atrial Fibrillation. Yes, that means I am having an atrial fibrillation episode as we speak. It is now 1.45 a.m. March 27th. I went into AFib at about 10.20ish p.m. March 26th. So, a little over three hours now. There's a few possible triggers for tonight's episode. One, bad eating. I didn't eat very good at all today. In fact, I've been kind of off the wagon for a while. First time I've really been off the wagon in seven years. I always take pride in my diet and taking care of myself. And for whatever reason, I'm just off track. So I gotta figure out a way to buckle down and get back on the wagon. Cause it's been a little ridiculous. Second reason, a little banter back and forth. That's never healthy. I was due for an episode anyway. Again, March 26th, towards the end of the month. This is my third episode in March. So I'm right on track. I usually average two to four episodes, three probably the most common. So I got five more days to make it into April. Hopefully I can accomplish that. Like I said, it's 1.45 a.m. If you watch my other videos, you know I like to come over to the shop at night, try doing some conversion tricks. One of them is just grabbing my guitar and playing some songs. I converted quite a few times doing that. Maybe I'll do some jumping jacks and push ups and stuff like that. Otherwise I might go outside, walk up and down the driveway, or maybe jog up and down the driveway. And by the way, yeah, it's chilly tonight, 30 some degrees, but there's a full moon, or at least close to it, straight overhead, very bright outside, it's quite nice. So maybe I'll go out there for a stroll. Anyway, I got Rocket here keeping me company. And I'm going to go see what we can do about this thing. Well, it's about quarter after two. I don't know, I probably played three or four songs. I was standing up over there. But I'm still in AFib. So I'm just going to sit down for a little bit. Noodle around. I haven't played this one in a while. Long as I remember, the rain's been coming down. Clouds of mystery pouring, confusion on the ground. Tick tock, tick tock. I think I'm still in AFib, but I did feel at ease on that song. So I'm gonna try another one. I was trying to find easier singing songs here, but I gotta figure out how this one goes again. Here we go. Oh, mama told me. When I was young Come sit beside me My only son And listen closely To what I say And if you do this It'll help you Some sunny day Oh, take 
your time Don't live too fast Troubles will come And they will pass You'll find a woman And you'll find love And don't forget son There is someone Up above And be a simple Or be something you love and understand Baby, be a simple kind of man Oh, won't you do this for me, son? That's enough of that tune. I still feel AFib. On to the next song. This is usually a more noisy song, but I'll try taming it down. See what else we got. This one's been a while. I'll for sure butcher this one. But it's a cool tune. Stuck. I gotta get a little more animated. After this tune, I think I might go take a run down the driveway and back. Anyway, let's get some action going here. Some Nirvana.
still an AFib. Jacks. She'll probably get kicking pretty fast. I'm gonna quick grab my water. I'm trying to do some electrolyte water too. See how that goes. Woo. Kind of funny. Can't really tell what the heck's going on because the heart just flops all over the place. It's amazing how good we can actually function when the heart is doing that. I mean, I by no means feel good. You would think I could feel a lot worse. In the past, I've grabbed my heart like this, kind of massaged it. I've converted, I don't know, two or three times doing that. I'm sure most of it is random, but when you're doing something once in a while and you convert while you're doing it, you always gotta try it again. I will say this, I've done walking and jogging and that has converted me before, but I'm not sure jumping jacks ever have. I also have a couple of these. I'm a little hesitant because my eating habits weren't great today. I mean, these are pretty good. Three ingredients. What do we got? We got dates, peanuts, and sea salt. So they're generally pretty good for you. But for whatever reason, I have good luck eating Laura bars here and converting. So I'm gonna wait a little bit. I think I'm gonna go take a walk outside. Still trucking along pretty good, but not bad. This one might stick around for a while. You just get that feeling once in a while. Maybe I'll show you what it looks like outside. It might actually be bright enough to work, but I don't know. Let's go check it out. Wood flag I made yesterday. I actually went in the AFib for about, I don't know, five, 10 minutes while I was making this yesterday. But I popped out, so I usually don't count them short episodes. But I knew a longer one was coming one of these days. So here it is. Anyway, let's go outside. Looks kind of foggy up there. It's 30 degrees right now. Gonna take a quick walk. All right, I'm back. Whew. I walked down one stretch of the driveway and I jogged back. Still an AFib. Gonna sit down for a minute, see what happens. Grab my guitar, strum a bit. Furnace quieted down. On to another tune. Nights in white satin. So these guitar strings are from November, but not this November, the one we just had, the November before that. So I played a gig and I changed them before the gig. So November, 16 months. And I play this thing pretty regularly. They're pretty dead sounding. But I'm too lazy to change them. Still an AFib, but very comfortable, which I don't like. Start thinking my heart is getting used to this. One of these days I might have to look for a big dog, a blazing surgeon. 
I don't mention this very often. Ablation surgery is a little tricky for me because I don't mention it much, but I also have hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. I kind of got the apical aneurysm kind of thing going on. I have significant scarring, cardiac scarring, apparently over 30%, which is quite a bit, which is also why I have an ICD in me. Where was I going with the story? <laughs> I forgot. Regardless, I'm an aphid right now, but I'm comfortable. Just playing some tunes, even though it is getting late. And the AFib hangover will probably be harder to deal with than the actual AFib itself. Is what it is. Let's find another tune. Radiohead. Here's always a good tune. I'm gonna have to play this whole song, I don't know. I'm gonna take a freight train down at the station long. I don't care where it goes Gonna climb a mountain The highest mountain Jump off, nobody's gonna know Can't you see? Can't you see? What that woman lost buy a ticket now as far as I can and never coming back ride me a southbound all the way to Georgia now tell the train to run out of track ride me a southbound that's right all the way now come on Tell the train and run out of track Can't you see Can't you see What that woman lost She's been doing to me <laughs> Flip flop, flip flop just won't stop. Maybe I'll finally do one of these. Go take another walk and a run. For some reason I misplaced my water. Maybe I put it up by the front door. Found it. <clears throat> I think it might go outside. Do a super sprint, come back, sit down, see if I can pop something. If not, maybe I'll jump to one of these Laura bars. But if it starts pushing three, four in the morning, then I'll just go home, go to bed. Hopefully wake up in NSR, which happens often itself. So that's the plan. A few more jaunts outside. Maybe a little more plucking on the guitar. Go from there. Someone go outside, give that another shot. I'll be back. All right, back in after another sprint. Whew. I know it's only 30 degrees out, maybe lower than that. But no wind, bright sky with the moon, fog going on. It's actually quite beautiful. And it just turned 3 a.m. 
So it is getting late. I'm going to sit here. Let my heart rate go back down. I think I'll watch a little video for a little bit. Eat a lower bar. And I'll check back with you. Good bucket. Hey guys, so it's 3.50 a.m. Still an AFib, but hardly any symptoms. So it's getting late or early, however you want to look at it. This guy's awful talkative tonight. What, buddy? Say hi. I'm set you up here, buddy. Anyway, probably gonna call in an evening here in the shop, head back in. Maybe I'll run a little lap and then probably just try getting some sleep. Hopefully when I wake up, this baby will be back to normal. I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks for watching. Good morning guys. Probably looking a little rough. It is 7.45 a.m. And I am still in AFib. I slept solid for about three hours. Just got up. Took my morning meds. Fed some cats. Took the garbage out. Now I'm back outside. I might do a couple runs up and down the driveway here. And then hop back in bed. See how it goes. I hate when I can't get this stuff converted. What am I, about nine hours? Something like that, maybe a little more. I'm usually a happy camper. If I can get these converted in two, three, four hours. I don't like once they start lasting longer than that. I think I'm gonna do a few more runs here. That's about 35 degrees. Again, the AFib symptoms are not bad at all, but it is still there. Let's keep on trying. Yeah, yeah, I know. Don't laugh at my wardrobe. <laughs> Got the PJ bottoms, flannel shirt, house shoes. Kind of look ridiculous. But I don't care. I'm an aphid right now. I'm trying to convert this thing. Just leave me alone. <laughs> Hands are frozen, nose is frozen. I think in one of the past videos I mentioned Renault syndrome. Not sure if that's what I'm dealing with or not. But my hands, nose, and toes freeze extremely easily. So there's something going on there, but I'm not interested in getting diagnosed with something else. So I just live with it and deal with it. Shouldn't really have to worry about that the rest of the year. Late March, all the real cold stuff is done. Thank God. kind of funny I barely even run these days anymore until I'm an AFib doesn't feel so bad actually I think I'll do maybe one last sprint head in chill out for a while see if anything happens
It is 10.30. And a few more hours of sleep. I am back in normal sinus rhythm. Finally. And I'll sleep in a couple more hours. To the sound of a ticking clock. Which I do on occasion. Anyway. 12 hour episode. Too long for my liking. But we're done. Time for the AFib Hanover. Check it out, guys. I'm alive. I actually have pants on. It is about 12.30. I've been in NSR for about two hours now. AFib Hanover is kicking in a bit. Not too bad. I probably got a good five or six hours of sleep last night. So not too bad there either. But I'm up and moving. We're dressed. It's Saturday. As you can see, it's a rainy, chilly day here in Wisconsin. I'll probably take it easy today as I'm usually not quite up to par the day after an AFib episode. Especially this one was what did I say? Was it? It was 12 hours long. But it wasn't symptomatic at all. It was very calm. That is something that has changed in recent years. When this AFib stuff started seven plus years ago, my heart rate would be cranking 200 plus and it would disable me. But now I can almost function normally while I'm in AFib. I mean, sometimes it cranks up there. I think when I'm at the office on my device check, they say I get in the 130s, 140s. But I don't check at home. I quit doing that years ago. I just roll with the punches and work through it. Well, there's another episode down. I'll keep making these just for something to do. Kind of track my AFib journey. And hopefully, eventually, maybe we'll figure out how to lessen these things. They've been pretty steady for about seven years. They have increased, but the symptoms are a lot less. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.